Hey, how's it going everybody? John here with another video today and I am proud and happy to show you guys that I'm going to be unboxing a brand new Jewel starter kit. Now, I already have, I think, three Jewels and I didn't really need another one, but the Jewel starter kit was on sale at my local Speedway, uh, I think half off, which is like $25 off, I believe. So I just wanted to go ahead and purchase it, mainly for the pods in it, because uh, if I buy the Jewel, and the pods for 25 you know splitting a half and a half that's still cheaper for both of them both ways so I will be unboxing it and showing you guys exactly what it looks like so uh, this casing has been opened only because I could access the pods because I bought this I think I think a week ago or something like that to get the pods out and I have not opened up the actual jewel itself because I've been waiting to do that on video I just haven't had time to do it so of course this is what the new starter kit as of right now looks like because the old one that I originally purchased when I first got my jewel did not have this warning label. I believe it looked quite different because this warning label is not on it whatsoever. The jewel I think was repositioned in a different place. I don't remember that being there, but hey, you know, it's been a while. So um, I'll, get a, I'll go ahead and get a uh, hand view to show you guys exactly what it looks like up close. But um, this is just what it looks like in hand from a distance away. Um, now the biggest thing that is different in this box than the old one is that they took out fruit medley and put in mango, which I'm perfectly fine with that. I think personally they should have taken away um, uh, cream brulee and switched it for mango. Because I don't know, I don't like that flavor. Some people do, some people's favorite flavor is tobacco. And that's not for me whatsoever. So of course this is what my reg uh, regular jewel looks like before I bought this one. I'm not going to replace it, I'm probably going to sell this to a friend um, for probably 20 bucks and make a profit off that um, just for the jewel itself and still save money on it by pod wise, you know what I'm saying? And as you can tell this is a little different than my other videos because I am a little bit more energized and ready to make this video. The last few that I've made I have been gassed, tired because all I do is work. But fortunately, uh, we were a little slow at work tonight, so I did get home a little bit early. But anyways, without stalling for the rest of the video, let's get to the table and show you exactly what this jewel starter kit looks like. So this is what the actual starter kit looks like. It has the big jewel on the front, and then of course it has the jewel starter kit on the front as well. It says jewel device, USB charger, four flavor pods, and each of them are different, so you can, I guess, have a little bit of a um, taste test comparison what's it called uh, it's kind of like an appetizer tray of jewel pods so you can figure out which one kind of fits you the best and then something new that they also added as well is the warning label on the front they did that so they wouldn't get sued even more um, they're gonna have to add another one if they want to stay in business anytime soon because they just got word that if they don't change their packaging or change the way to um, obtain these it's gonna be a lot more difficult for them to sell or even sell in general because a lot of teenagers underage are getting these nowadays. Of course, it's the alternative for adult smokers. So if you are not 18, 21, 24, depending on where you live, you are not to be doing this. Follow your jurisdiction. I do not condone underage smoking or vaping or consumption of any nicotine or substance that you are not allowed to be using if you're not of age. On the side, I think this is new. Uh, it's got the display of different pods. So you got mint, tobacco, cream brulee, and mango, my favorite. Um, cream brulee, mm, I don't know. It's probably a tie between least favorite between cream brulee and tobacco. I'd say tobacco is probably my least favorite. And then mint. Mint uh, doesn't really get me buzzed. I don't feel it as much. But hey, you know, everybody has their own opinion. On the back, you do have different kinds of warning labels. It has the same in the back as it does in the front. What kind of bothers me is this is all center. See this? It's like black on the sides and then white right there. I wonder if it's like that on the front. On the front, oh, it's the same. Ugh, it's nasty. But like I said, I did open these to get some of the pods out. I think the only one I have in right now actually is tobacco. But it has the one year limited device warranty. Um, it, it explains how 0.7 milliliters and 5% nicotine, you know, 50 nick, 0.5 milliliters is technically around 43 milligrams of nicotine. Um, ingredients, you know, it's got all the uh, main ingredients and most 
um, vape juice. And I gotta say, um, I gotta stop saying, um, I say that in so many videos and it just irritates me. And then it's got the 2018 Jewel Labs Incorporated, California Proposition 65 warning. This talks about the harmful, harmful things about nicotine. And then uh, warning, this contains nicotine and stuff like that. Uh, so sale only allowed in the United States as well. On the side, it has Jewel Device USB charger for flavor pods. Do not throw in the trash can, please recycle. Jewel right there as well. So let's go ahead and push out the two little slots. So, like I said, I have not opened up the Jewel yet, but I have opened up the pods itself so I could have them. I didn't think that was too much of a deal. Let's go ahead and start with the pods first. So this is what it looks like. I'll show you what a regular box looks like. This is something that I bought yesterday, crushed in my pocket. But uh, for if you were to buy a pack of mango that had all of the same flavors, you can see they kind of look, um, you know, the same. They're pretty much the same packaging, except this does not explain the different kind of flavors and stuff like that. They're both practically the same kind of design box. So normally you would crack this open in the back and then you would take this, complete our survey and get a $30 Visa e-gift card. Now you'll find these in a lot of boxes. A lot of people um, can get these very easily. It actually depends on the box because I bought my other box over there and it did not have one of these in it but I bought one another, you know, I think a week ago and it had one in. And um, if you guys want to have a, uh, if you guys want me to do a giveaway about the um, activation code on the back. I'm not ever gonna use it, so you guys can have it. Um, leave a comment and a like below, and I'll make sure to do that. See on the back, it says, complete our online survey about vaping, smoking, and Juul products, and receive a $30 Visa e-gift card. Go to Juul.com slash survey. So let's go ahead and take these out. Like I said, I do only have tobacco left, but I went tobacco, I think mint, cream brulee, and mango. That's what it looked like. Um, if you guys have not seen the other pods, I apologize. I should have left the caps or the empty pods in there when I was done. I wasn't thinking about it. I'll think more uh, in depth next time. And that is it. That's all that's inside that box as well. And then inside the jewel box, let's see if uh, anything else in here. Nope, that's done, that's all flat, that's all good to go. So inside the box itself, it has dual device, USB charger, and then it has the same kind of stuff as all the other boxes about the warning. So you can see the seal has not been broken. Um, dual device, USB charger, and stuff like that. So let's get to opening it. I would sling this on camera if I wasn't about to smack my monitor and my keyboard over there. Let me see if I can. I'm definitely smacking my. Let me see if I can. Ooh, I did smack it. Shit. Anyways, you get the gist. I don't want to smack it because uh, I'll break my monitor, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get under the, the tape and try to peel it off without destroying the box. Oh, dude, this could be like one of the satisfying videos. All right, I don't know what this is. It might be a serial number of some sort. Not too sure, but oh, sticker might have just got back on there. Oh, got it. Ha ha. And then this isn't like a fold open box like the Jewel Pods are. It's just a regular box that oops, slides out. So this one does not have a cover on it. I just realized it has just the open box itself. You pull this out and it's got the, uh, I'm guessing the manual. So, ooh, that's actually pretty slick. I'm gonna put that in, the, <laughs> in my phone case. Um, that's actually really cool. It's got the goods uh, they get started so yeah so remove the colored cap and insert a pod into the device so this is what's it's telling you how to use the pod they make their make sure the jewel is fully charged before use no buttons required to turn it on 
First take a small puff to get a feel for the vapor, then ease into inhaling. Like any new experience, Jewel might take some getting used to. If it feels too harsh, try inhaling less and puffing more gently. Do not give up, you'll find your perfect puff. Here's the support, shows you uh, how to fix your jewel or how to replace it if you need one. And then here we go. How to charge it, it's got the USB charger and it's showing you the different levels and stuff like that. And then charge the device and dock for one hour. And then you can obviously tap it twice to show the battery life. And then here's the flavors on the right. Uh, so these are the kind that you're gonna have in this one. So it has Cool Mint, Virginia Tobacco, Mango, and Cream Brulee. So that's what the instruction manual looks like. And then when we pick up the box itself, it has the jewel, the insert jewel pod, and the charging dock. So let's go ahead and take out, actually let's save the jewel for last, take out the charging block. Now, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna spit some truth here. I've never had this thing last for more than a week. I've always lost them like a week after I got them. Um, but, ooh, they uh, come off really easily. Of course, it's just the USB dock. Um, the jewel plugs into this. You can plug this into a computer or a uh, wall outlet USB connector. And it's actually pretty slick. Yeah, I've never had a problem with them. Sometimes little pieces of metal will get stuck in between these two prongs. All you have to do is just um, gently damp the metal with a uh, uh, Q-tip that has like, a little bit of water on it. Don't Make sure you don't get the prongs too soaked, but you know, just pick that up very easily like that. Now let's go ahead and pull out the jewel. Uh, very easily, just can take the kind of thing like that. And then it has this little uh, I think cardboard white piece of paper type thing it says insert the jewel pod here pull it out and then boom bada bing bada boom you're Italian you got this very nice slick dark gray almost black jewel now they do sell silver ones I believe they, they sold uh, bright blue ones for a while they were limited edition only certain places actually sold them but they would look really nice um, but that's what it looks like. Uh, yeah, you have to have the pod in to check the battery life. Of course, you have the prongs on the inside to um, light the uh, things. And there you go. That is the jewel being unboxed. Actually, this looks nicer. <laughs> this looks a lot less faded than mine. Mine, as you can see, has been weathered down quite a bit. This is what my gray looks like on mine. I know because I have a sticker on mine. It's a little different. But as you can see, it's been weathered down because how old it is. But yeah, I haven't seen such a dark jewel in such a long time. Most of my friends have older ones that are, you know, light gray like mine. But yeah, it feels good to have a brand new jewel. Huh, <sighs> here we go. The camera switched backwards for now, which is a little different. It's showing more of my closet than my bed, which I'm happy about. So here is the brand new jewel. I'm gonna go ahead and use my mango pod that was inside the, oh, there's like no juice whatsoever left on this thing. I can still get a hit out of it though. So let's see what the click sounds like on this thing. Oh, it's probably because the pod has been used. But let's go ahead and get the first ever hit. Let's see what charge this is on. Is that green? No, it's yellow. Makes sense. Here we go. Well, I now know why I should switch to a brand new jewel every few months because just by the first hit, I can tell that this uh, is fresh. I can tell that this is a fresh new jewel because it hits. A lot better and a lot different than my dirty old jewel um would I switch no because I like this wrap I don't feel like like ripping it or trying to take it off and attach it to this one because I, I don't know if I'll ruin it pretty good not gonna lie bueno muy bien 
um, no muy mal. No, that means not very good. Damn it. Gotta refresh a little bit on my on my Spanish. You know what? Why not? Let's uh, let's hit some tobacco. Never unboxed something from this angle before. Boom. Take off the brown cap. I have like three of them. By the way, I collect caps. I think I have every single cap for a jewel pod ever made. Are obviously not like in existence, but I have um, from each flavor, I have pods, uh, the caps. I'm thinking about maybe like drilling holes in them, and then like wearing it as like a chain to school because all the teachers wouldn't know what they were. I'm gonna go ahead and take the fresh tobacco pod. I can smell it, dude. It's got like a scent to it. It's just horrible for me. I don't know. If you like tobacco, nothing against you. But I'm not switching to cigarettes anytime soon, so I don't really care for this flavor. Feels like it's like the apocalypse. And the only food I have is a stick of beef jerky that is three months expired and a box of graham crackers. And I just jammed a stick of beef jerky in between two graham crackers and just ate it in one bite. Ugh, it's so disgusting. I mean, if you're feeding for a hit, Tobacco is good, but it's a last resort. I'm gladly going to switch to my mango after I'm done. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I know this has been basically just unboxing a brand new jewel and not so much of the jewel kit, but I did show you guys what the kit looks like and tell you guys what was in it and stuff like that. I didn't show you all the pods because I'm a fiend and I used three out of the four you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe tell me guys what you might want to see in the next video i don't know exactly what i'm going to do next but i'm sure it'll be great i was going to do something about the blue but i don't have any pods for it and every speedway that i go to they're all sold out because the blue just had a deal where they would sell the jewel kits or sorry the blue kits and the blue it came with like one pod and the blue for a dollar so that is gone off the shelf there's not a there's not one in sight so once i am able to get a hold on a pod i'll make a video for that one see y'all later peace